So in today's Survival Let's Play, I finally work on that trophy room I've been talking about. Make sure you watch until the end. It's pretty action-packed with a lot of cool ideas. I think it's a pretty unique-looking trophy room. Let me know your thoughts after you watch it in the comment sections. Without further ado, let's see if we reach 10 likes in today's video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Survival Let's Play. We're back in the kingdom. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> really? Okay, let me see what you got here. No, ooh, hold on a minute. We have some blue ice. I'm actually, hold on a second, villager. I actually, this was this was supposed to be the intro. I was not expecting this to happen, but I am, <laughs> I'm actually going to take all of the blue ice, mainly because maybe I can do something with it with some future projects. Why? Why? Like, let's just, I don't even know. The villager just, the wandering villager honestly just came and snuck up on me. I was not expecting that but there we go uh yeah this is interesting so today uh i'm gonna be working on a trophy room which is gonna be back in the castle the reason why i came back to the campsite was not because of the wandering villager but was because a lot of you have been saying in the comment sections that have i given up on the campsite what happened to it have we abandoned it what's going on I don't know really what to do with the campsite. It was supposed to be a starter area, uh, but I've decided that I still want to do some work here. And with that being said, let me know in the comment section what I should do with this area as it is a campsite. Maybe we can make it themed with, uh, I don't know, whatever a campsite may have. But the reason why I'm here is because I want to grab all of our original first gear for the trophy room. I'm even going to grab the armor stand. Let's go and grab that. And this is going to be our first ever armor that we had on the server, which is great. It's a good thing I I kept this. Also, if you look here, I've kept the original tools that we started off with. I have the original wooden pickaxe, uh, original wooden axe, and I have some of the other one, like a stone pickaxe, a stone sword, and we'll get our first iron one. The basic stuff, okay? All of this is going to go towards the trophy room. Now, the trophy room already has a decent collection of things. I put it into a chest, and I'll be showing all of you what we're going to be doing with that room as we get back to the kingdom. Alrighty, so we're back at the castle, and uh, there hasn't been anything changed too much the castle since the last time I showed you guys although I have done a little bit of work uh, for this room now I've told you in the past that I wanted to do something specifically with uh, this this hill in the background okay and that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing it's going to be an area for multiple rooms not only just a trophy room but as you can tell as I walk through here I've closed up this hall here I pretty much made it into a tunnel and this tunnel leads us into the other side of this small hill I'll show you guys what those rooms are going to be used for but as we get end to the end of this tunnel there is it's like a little cliff here a little a little cliff and there's the ocean side over there um and there's some just cool areas so let me know what your thoughts are on what i should do with this area but i do want to develop this part of the mountain too um but also there is going to be a lot of work having to be done with this tunnel and the rooms here so i'm going to grab a little bit of some food after i stopped by at the kingdom i grabbed a little bit of food because i realized <laughs> i ran out i had nothing on me all right so this over here is going to be the trophy room. Now, I put this center exactly, specifically here, so that everything is center on, and then we can build off of it as a center point. So this is going to be another room. This is a current trophy room, and we'll have some other rooms around here going up and down. Um, so it's going to be a pretty cool addition to the castle. I'm looking forward to it. All right, so this area down here will be the trophy room, okay? Right now, it looks like a, a bunch of nothing, but it's going to look great at the end of today's episode. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I... I want to name some of the items at the end. So for now, I'm going to go place all of the specifics that we just got from the campsite, like the armor. This is going to be our first armor. We're going to name everything. Hopefully, I have enough XP for that. Um, and I do have a few other things that I'm not going to worry too much about. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The wooden pickaxes, all the tools are going to go in one of the trophy cabinets. So there we go. We have all that taken care of. Looks good. So all of those items are currently some of the valuable items. We do have the fishing rod and the first fish, but that's at the fishing hut. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some of these items. Now, this is going to be cool. I'm excited to show you uh, what I have in mind here. So in the middle, there's going to be some pillars, uh, quartz pillars, because I feel that a trophy room needs to be looking quite nice, quite fancy in my opinion. So I figured it, we have to make this place look really expensive and quartz is just the way to go. We could do gold blocks, uh, diamond blocks if we have enough and just kind of go all out if we wish to or if I wish to. It depends on how much resources I have, but that's just that's a that's a potential plan in the future. I'm going to close up uh, this area too just to make it even with all the other sides. Now I'm going to show you what exactly I have in mind. So this is the first room 
that I had that I pretty much did some uh, testing to make sure that everything works and my idea and design is going to look nice. So we're going to take away the stone floor because that's just too boring. Nothing too crazy with that. And I'm going to go ahead and just put some wood flooring, okay? I want to keep some of it to look quite natural and to theme uh, with, you know, being with the mountain and all that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some white stained glass panes. But before I do that, I'm just going to make this room here. Let's see. I'm going to use a spruce. Let's go ahead and use some spruce planks as a table. And then what we could do is this area right here could be the, uh, let's see, what type of items do I have so I can show you the basic idea. At the moment, I can grab, uh, let's go ahead and grab the Woodland Explorer map or the Pillager. Let's go grab the Pillager stuff. So this I don't really have to name, which is good because I have a few items that I need to name, but these I don't have to. So let me show you what I have in mind. There's going to be a Pillager banner right over there. And then in the frames, in the items frames, I'm going to go ahead and put ourselves a crossbow because these are well known for the pillagers and the piglins, although this was the first one that I believe I got from the uh, pillagers. So I'm going to go ahead and place that item in that uh, item frame. going to grab, get rid of that one. And I don't think there's anything else that I want to add. What I could do is I could add, I'm pretty sure I could add a banner in there. There we go. I could add another banner in there. And then I'm going to use the white stained glass panes, close it up and and it's pretty much fully secured and yeah I think that looks really really great now of course the ceiling now there's a reason why I'm not doing the ceiling yet because I wanted to show you one thing above here there is an uh, like a cave like water uh, pond or whatever you want to call it um, but there's a lot of water in this cave okay it's not on the outside it's just a little cave that has a lot of water there and I figured we could make the whole ceiling uh, glass with water so you can see above and it's all water I think that would look pretty cool um, and that's something that I'm gonna try to do at the end of the episode but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and keep designing the inside of this trophy room because we do have a lot of items to go and place around here. So I'm pretty sure I have to put quartz. I just realized I made a little mistake. Quartz is going to go all around the sides of the walls here. Let's go ahead and place them all here. Okay, so this wall here is going to have to disappear and just place it with quartz. I think this is going to be good. Now, the reason why this is not too big yet is because I don't have enough items, but it's going to continue to go into that direction. Um, I think this is going to be cool. I think this will definitely look like a solid trophy room. All right, I'm just about running out of quartz. Luckily enough, I took some quartz from the campsite from when we first went into the nether, so I have barely enough, but it's just enough to finish up all the rooms. Now, the final thing that I need to do is I have to add, uh, similar to how I did there, is just adding the wood. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab the spruce wood and the stained glass. So all I have to do, place some wood there and remove the stone on every side like so. So then we just do that, something simple like that. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and add the same thing here. So this room so far is complete. I'm gonna leave the ceiling how it is as of right now. And and we're going to grab some of these items and actually finally name some of them as our first ever items. So the first thing that I'm going to grab is going to be, let's go and get, this is going to be our first diamond. Let's go ahead. Now, obviously we've used our first diamond already, but in the meantime, I think it'll be still pretty nice to have first diamond. Okay. I think that will uh, still be quite a nice thing to get. So this is our first ever diamond. Just let's just say it is for now because the trophy room, I should have done it earlier, but let's go ahead and put it in this uh, room right over here. I think all I need is just, um, let's get an item frame and we can put the first diamond. Let's see, where, where would be a good spot for it? Probably like right there. We'll put our first diamonds. Ooh, it's a little bit covered off, but it's not, not end of the world. You can still see first diamond. And uh, what we could do is we can place, let's see, uh, we can grab the diamond chest plate because this is an extra diamond chest plate that I am not going to use, and this was from the Woodland Mansion, but for now, just for the looks, we could just add a diamond chest plate in there, and then we can close it up with some stained glass, and that's our other trophy room for pretty much diamonds. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's see, the next thing I want to do is the first tools, okay? So this is quite important. This is the first ever pickaxe. Um, I think we're just going to name this one first, so this is going to be our first pickaxe. Let's go ahead and name that. So this is the first pickaxe of the world. And then we have, what else do we have here? Our first axe ever. Um, man, there's a lot of cool stuff. I'm surprised. I was pretty smart to keep this. This is our first axe. There we go. And I'm not going to really worry about the stone ones. I think it's just important that we have the first ever items. And I want to put that in this room here. So let's go ahead and place. Let's just do something like this. So this is going to be our first axe and our first 
Uh, first pickaxe and first axe. Looks pretty good. Uh, we could add a little bit more design to it if we want to. Uh, one thing that I can do is I could add a little shelf that doesn't look half bad and i can close those up and then we can add a little bit of the stained glass of course to close this side up perfect oh man i just wasted a glass okay well it is what it is but yeah that looks pretty good happy with that we have everything taking shape uh the one thing that i realized i think would look really nice is to have the trap uh, spruce planks like that. I think that is an additional benefit to make this look quite nice. There we go. Yeah, much, much better. All right, the next item. Let's see what I have in this chest. Uh, I'm going to throw that back in there. Okay, we do have the first armor. Okay, so this is our first armor ever. Uh, iron armor, because that is the first thing I think we've ever gotten. Uh, I, don't, I think I had leather armor at one point, but... Like I said, that is what it is. Uh, let me go grab the armor stand. I have it on me. Let's go and name this. Uh, so this is going to be our first helmet. <laughs> okay, so our first helmet. And I'm going to do something a little bit easier here. I'm going to try to do copy. Nope, that's not going to work. Okay, so first helmet, first chest plate. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll grab our armor stand. We'll place it right over here. And then we're going to grab the final few. I can't believe it, guys. We have everything here. So let's go place that there, that there, and that there. Look at that. That is our first ever, um, yeah, armor in this world. Now, there's one more thing that I realized. I think I have, yeah, we could use a stone sword. We'll just put first sword here. So let's go ahead and do that. This is our first sword. And we'll put it inside one of the item frames in here. I think that way it adds a little bit more detail. So let's go ahead and put that there. First sword, perfect, looking good. And now we're gonna grab the rest of the stained glass, close this one up, pretty nice. All right, looking good. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have to add ourselves the trap doors. So let me sneak on in here, grab the trap doors. Always love working with trap doors. Oh wait, is that not gonna be enough? Let's see. There we go. Perfect. And we have a little bit of quartz left. Okay, sweet. So we have three successful rooms, actually four rooms. Now there's a few other items like we have upstairs. Let's see. All right. So the next item that I want to do is going to be heart of the sea. I'm pretty sure this goes in order with pretty much everything that we're able to find here so far. So the heart of the sea is going to be our first ever uh, underground ruin. Now I do have the treasure map in the fishing hut. So I could go back and grab that uh, so that we, so that way actually we should probably do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to the fishing hut, grab those items and bring them back over here. All right, we're back at the fishing hut. Another uh, unseen place in a while now, the lighthouse and the fishing hut. We haven't ha been here in a while, but I do want to work on the sea area a little bit more. So this is our first ever fishing rod. I'm actually going to snag this, okay? And I'm going to grab, this is Rod the Rod. We named it in one of our live streams. I will leave that here. And this is our first catch. I'm going to take it. I want to put it in the trophy room. And this this is the buried treasure map that I am going to be taking. Uh, oh no, where'd it go? Is it outside? I hate when this happens. It always gets stuck inside. It could be on the outside here. I don't know. Where'd it, where'd it go? Uh, treasure map. Is it here? Buried treasure map. Got it. I realized I actually had it in the inventory. I was just, just not looking. Okay. All right. So let me head over back to the castle. So that way we have our first ever fishing area and treasure map. There's another dog here. Interesting. Okay. So let's head back over to the castle. All right. So now that we're back in the castle, uh, we're going to go ahead and place our first uh, fishing items with the heart of the sea because that was part of the ocean side. So we're going to grab, this is pretty much all going to be item frames in here. So let's go ahead and grab the first ever fishing rod. We'll place that in the top over there. We have our first catch. We'll place it right next to it. And then we do have the buried treasure map, which is going to go right there. And that actually looks pretty nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. I think there's one more item. Yep. Heart of the sea. We'll place that in there. So this is from the ocean exploration episode. Uh, we still have to uh, go and raid one of the underwater temples, which I found. So that's going to be one of the next projects. Uh, let's see what else I have in here. Now we have, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, we're going to use netherite scrap, uh, iron boots, and netherite. This is going to be for our first um, attempt at just going into the nether and finding the piglins and trading with them. Actually, hold on. This is from the nether. So these items here are pretty pretty interesting. So we have our iron boots, right? But we're going to name these to uh, soul speed. So these are going to be soul speed nether boots. Okay. So these are pretty rare because uh, this was one of the first ones we got from the first trade or we could do first. So rare, actually rare. Let's do piglin trade. Okay. 
This is going to be our rare Piglin trade because it is one of the rarest possible ones. And then we have Netherite Scrap and Netherite Rack. Those are just going to be purely for design. Uh, so we're going to go put that in this room. So we have a few more uh, frames. Let's go ahead and grab the... Uh, let's put the boots over there. Let's put the Netherite Scrap there. And then just put the Nether over there, or the nether block, uh, nether rack block over there, and I don't think there's anything else that I want to add in this room, it's pretty simple, to be honest, so we're gonna close that up like this, oh, we could add, if I have a few more, oh wait, yeah, hold on, we do have, a uh, shroom light, we can add a shroom light in there, mmm, that looks a little bit weird, what we could do is maybe add an item frame, Nah, I don't think that's worth it. But what I will grab is a lantern. I'm pretty sure I have a lantern in here. Yeah, there we go. So we can add a lantern on the table like that. And then we're going to grab the uh, spruce planks. Place those there. Perfect. All right. And uh, grab... Oh, we're really running low on glass. So I have to make sure... Yeah, we're probably not going to have enough glass. We only have eight left, which is enough for one more room. Okay, I didn't realize that, but it's all right. Not the end of the world. So the next few items that we have left are... Okay, so we have the black banner with the piglin pattern. Um, and then we have, this is from the piglin raid. So we're going to go ahead and name these items. So this is going to be the golden sword. So this is going to be the piglin sword. I'm going to call it first piglin sword. Okay, going to grab that. This is going to be the first golden chest plate. So let's go name that first golden chest plate. Perfect. And there is the piglin banner. So we're going to name this to... Piglin banner. Perfect. All right. Looking good. So this is going to be more of the Piglin fortress. And that's going to go right alongside here. So let's go ahead and place the spruce. And we forgot to do the flooring here. I'm surprised that happened. So let me go and do that. Okay, great. So we have the banner. We have a few items. So let's go put the banner like this. I think that looks good. And then we'll grab the item frames. Two item frames, we'll put ourselves the sword, and oh, we do have a few extra items. We have the piglin pattern banner. I am not, I don't know, we could leave that there, and we could put one more item frame. I don't think it's a big deal to have the gold chest plate, so I'm going to leave that how it is. I don't, I don't think it's needed, so I'm just going to leave it how it is, and then we'll close up with the stained glass like this, and that's all of the glass. We only have two more, so for now, I'm just going to put those there. And then we have one more room. I think we're running out of rooms. I might have to go and extend a little bit more. So the next thing that we have is the woodland, which is just recently what we found in the last episode. So if you haven't already, make sure you go and check it out. So this is all from the woodland. Um, all right, that's, that's actually fairly enough. That's all of it, actually. So that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and name this. This is going to be the Woodland Map Explorer. I'm not going to have to name that, but I could if... I oh, know I don't actually have to name that. Um, this is our first one. This is could be... I think we could name this uh woodland chest plate diamond chest plate okay so that's the woodland diamond chest plate that's everything from there that's actually just enough rooms we managed i managed to pull this off okay pretty happy with that let's grab the item frame place them in here like this so we have the um, Totem of Undying, which now I know what that is. Obviously, I think I knew what it was. I was just being a little bit of a, a bot. I figured that if you die and you use one of these, you pretty much uh, get revived. Now, we're going to use it as a trophy room because I have one more. And I don't intend on dying anytime soon. Uh, we're going to put the map over there, which is really far out, as you can tell. And then we have the banner, which, hold on. Actually, what I could do is I could remove this banner. Okay, so check this out. I'm gonna put the banner on this side, like this. And then all I have to do is put the woodland map over there. And I don't even have to worry about this chest plate. It's a diamond chest plate. I could if I want to, but I'd rather have it like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the roles of these. The map's gonna go on the top and the totem I'm dying is gonna go on the bottom. Okay, that right there, I think looks a lot better. Um, I don't, oh wait. I just messed that up. Let's do that. That makes an interesting sound. Listen. <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay. Uh, okay, let, let me just get this right and we're done. Okay, that is all the stained glass I have. Um, I don't think I have any more. I might have a few more in here. Yeah, no, that's all of it as of right now. Now, all of these other items, this is our first banner. I don't really have to worry about making that. We'll make it, we'll make room for another 
a uh, few areas for that. So for now, I'm pretty happy with it. This is going to conclude the episode. So far, this is looking quite nice. What I want to do as a final touch is to add some lanterns hanging from here like this on every side. That looks, I think, really good. So let's check it out. Yeah, this is looking great. So as you walk in, you have all the lanterns. You have everything here. It's looking good. Very happy with it. Actually, the lanterns are probably not going to be here since the top of it is all going to be glass with water. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to pause. I'm going to finish up the top so we can see the final product and then end off today's episode. Alrighty, so everything is officially done with the trophy room. I got all the ceiling done with the water. I think it looks really good. So I'm going to show you guys the final product. Here we go. So so, as you can tell, the water is right above us with the glass. Now, I was thinking of making it into white stained glass. That will probably have to be an upgrade, but at the moment, I ran out of all that. The only thing I was able to do was finish up adding some white stained glass over here, but I am completely out of resources, so I would have to go and get, ourselves, or get myself a little bit more resources so that I can completely make the top a uh, white stained glass, which is going to be the next project probably I'll do off screen, but check it out. Let me know what your thoughts about this are in the comment sections. I I think it makes this whole place look a little bit more unique. Um, it definitely stands out. And the best part is you can just check out every single um, interesting moment here from this series. And it's pretty cool. I think it's a, a really nice touch to the to the whole trophy room and to the survival world. So if you enjoyed this and want to make your own trophy room, let me know down below in the comment section so you can add your own. And if you do, take a screenshot and tweet them on my Twitter. Just tag me and I will make sure to uh, maybe even feature that video or that little image on the next episode. But yeah, thanks again so much for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to get some sleep real quick. Um, oh, let's, let's try this real quick. But yeah, that's going to conclude today's episode. So thank you so much for the amazing support throughout the series. If you guys are new, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you stay up to date with some more Survival Let's Play. And I have some really exciting news for a new series that's coming to you guys this Sunday. So make sure you guys are up to date by hitting that notification bell and just stay tuned for Sunday is all I got to say. Some exciting things coming to the channel. But yeah, that's everything. Thank you again for watching. My name is Alex and peace out and stay foxy.